Good day. I'm Ryan Hall. Welcome to the studio here at Oak Mountain Media. I'm so excited to be sitting down with my guest today. She has got to be one of the most creative, most witty people I know, and there is never a dull moment when you're around her. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Miss Mackenzie McManus. <laughs> Miss? Hello, Hello. Ryan. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> pretty good. Lit, uh, you know, how's your day going? My day's been pretty fine. Pretty average. Pretty mm -hmm. dandy. But pretty, pretty average. <laughs> All right. Um, have you gone? You've gone to Oak Mountain your whole life, haven't you? Um. Yes, actually. So I grew up going to Oak Mountain, and then my ninth grade year, I transferred to Briarwood. Oh. And then tenth grade, I came back. So you're you're kind of a Briarwood legacy, kind of not, but you know. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> still Oak Mountain by blood, right? Like one twelfth of the way there, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your junior year going? Okay, my junior year. It's had its ups and downs. Has it? It's been pretty stressful, but overall, it's it's been really fun. And you know what? It's halfway over. We've made it this far. <laughs> I can keep going. I can do it. <laughs> That's all I got to tell myself. Yeah, junior year certainly made a man out of me. So. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about the. You have a. You have fish, right? Yes, fish is my ferret. Oh, <laughs> okay. Your ferret. Yes. Okay. So. Me and my friend, we <laughs> were obsessed with ferrets for a while, but our parents said that we couldn't have them, right? So no. we end up getting 29 fish, like 29 like swimmy fish. You know? <laughs> How big and was the tank? Was it? Oh, um, it was like a, it was like a big old tank. You know? <laughs> but so we ended up getting 29 fish until my parents finally let me get a ferret that I named Fish. So it's like it's all full circle. Yes, basically. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Yeah. In, in addition to fish, you also kind of play the guitar. I do. Playing the guitar is, I really, it's more of a personal thing. Like I really only play for myself. I don't like playing in front of other people because everything that I play is like, they're all really just sentimental songs right. to me and it helps my anxiety. Yeah. So I'd, I don't really like playing in front of people, but I do love playing. So you could sell out a stadium if you wanted to. But oh, you just, yeah. You just don't, you don't even doubt me <laughs> on that. <laughs> you just choose not to. And I, hey, I understand that. If I could play the guitar, you know. I, I don't, mean, maybe if I had the vocals going, maybe. And in addition to the soccer team, you're also an AP art. Um, and yeah. I know art is one of, I mean, you just, you're such a, a killer artist. And can you kind of talk about your passion for art? Um, yeah, so... My passion for art really started in sixth grade when I had a teacher who told me that I just wasn't good. And so I'm the type of person that if somebody tells me I'm not good, I'm going to prove them wrong. <laughs> and so I worked every day on my art until it was finally good enough for her. And so that's just, and I've just gone from there. And now I love it, now it's my passion. It just helps yeah. you with everything. I love it. And you kind of talk about, I think you said something about like the power of art. You know, you it really just, can you kind of talk about that a little bit? Well, the power of art just, it really just kind of defines everything I do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know I no, mean? I totally get you, yeah. Okay. And, and you're an AP art now. Um, and really, you know, I'm just kind of asking this as somebody who can't draw for anything, you know, I, little stick figures, yes. that's where I'm at. I know some <laughs> people are. Uh, how do you create your pieces? Like, where does that even, even come from? Okay, so the way that I see it is that I get a feeling or an emotion, and then I'm like, okay, I need to express this. I need to get it out. So immediately I come up with this image in my head of what I want to do. And then I figure out how I'm going to do it. I figure out what I'm going to put it on. And then as soon as you start putting your image on paper, on a canvas or anything, it's so hard to perfect it into what you want. So you're never really satisfied hmm. with your work. But I don't know. It's just, it's always satisfying to really just get your emotion out. Yeah. That is so fascinating, and just kind of like I said, the just how you how you come up with that, 
um, just see see these pieces and that they're never good enough. I think that's so interesting. It's like you can always you're trying to like one up yourself. Would you well, kind of? You always look at your piece and you're like, man, that could be better. That could be better. I wish I didn't do that. But overall, I think as long as you're expressing what you feel and why you chose to do that piece, that's all that matters. I love that yeah. for sure. And I'm, did you bring in some pieces today? Is that right? Is oh, you know I did. Oh, oh, you had to. You had yeah. to do it to him. <laughs> okay, I brought in three pieces actually. Okay. So. Man. These are probably my favorites. Okay. All right. What would you like to know about them? <laughs> I guess just kind of tell us what first inspired you to make these. It looks um, like some really cool detail here. Okay, so. Do I need to point this over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So all of these are actually inspired by my sister. Nice. And so this one is actually a project that I did at school last year. And so in every grid, there's there's a different design in every grid. And yeah. it ended up looking just like Maddie. And so every, I don't know, really just every detail is just, it's all for her. Yeah. And so. Oh my gosh. But that's one of them. Ma I mean, that detail is insane. That is truly amazing. Yeah. And then, this is the one I actually just completed. Okay. So, if you look at it, this half is me, and then this half is my sister. And wow. And so, what made me want to do this was that it was a couple of months ago that me and my sister really turned the same age, like our earthly bodies. Right. And so I found um, the picture of Maddie, actually, where she's wearing this necklace. It was her last school dance that she got to go to. And so she was 16 when she went to that dance. And then the last year when I was 16, I actually ended up going to the same dance, but I had the same jewelry on too, so I thought it would be really cool if I could mash it up. And everybody always tells me that we look alike, but I never saw it until I did this. And I, th I don't know, I just think it's really cool. Yeah. That is so cool, Mackenzie. That is such Thank a nice. You. And then this is probably my favorite. It looks like it's the least detailed, but actually everything on here is my fingerprint. Wow, for real? Yes, everything. Is this, I don't know like the terminology, is this just like just regular paint or is this? Yeah, this is acrylic paint. And so if like you could see close up right yeah. here, everything is just my fingerprint. And that comes from, um, I actually painted this the day that I turned as old as she was. And so the reason that I painted it was because this is actually the picture of the moment that me and Maddie met each other when I was born. And the reason I did it in fingerprints is because the last gift that I got from her was a mold of her fingerprint. Wow. So that's, I think, all my favorite pieces and all my best pieces come from my love of her. Yeah. And remembering her because, I don't know, I just, I really like to keep her memory alive. For sure. And Mackenzie, you are definitely doing that. That is such a nice dedication. I, I mean, those pieces are, I mean, Truly amazing. Thank you. Um, and I guess kind of going back to everything that you've done, what is, can you talk about what your idea of success is? I really think overall that my idea of success isn't towards money, it isn't towards a job, it's nothing like that. But I think that the day that I see that I've made an impact on somebody's life, that's when I know that I've been successful. Yeah. Love it. That's great. It's like that servant leadership. I mean, you're yeah. just having that mindset. What would you like to do when you grow up? Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> I haven't really put much thought into it besides that I want to do something that helps people. I want to do something that impacts people's lives and can help them change for better. And so I've been thinking about psychology. Nice. Because, I don't know, 
I just, I think that would be yeah. best, and I think it would be a good fit for me. Yeah. I can totally understand that. I love psychology, just the, you know, just studying, like, human interaction yeah, and just figuring out how you can, you know, help people. Figuring out how people work. And yeah. I think it's cool. For sure. And just to kind of wrap up, what does Mackenzie McManus want to be remembered by? Oh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I want to be remembered by having a servant's heart and loving without judging. That's really it. That's really what I would like to be remembered by. And it, just like I said, you were definitely doing that, Mackenzie. Thank you. Please keep it up. Everything that you're accomplishing, it's truly, and I know I keep on saying it, but it truly is amazing, everything that you're doing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. You, Ryan. <laughs> thank you for having me. Yeah, man. It's always fun hanging out with you. And please be sure to catch Mackenzie McManus on all of her social medias. She has some pretty cool content. And also keep up with us on our Twitter and Instagram at Oak MTN Media. And for Oak Mountain Media, I'm Ryan Hall. Thank you.